Abdul Shiu, Vice President for Undergraduate Studies and International Relations at UIBE, joins us tonight to talk more about today's meeting, which focused on how to navigate China's economy in the second half of this year in a very uncertain global environment. Uh, Mr. Zhao, again, so it's a very tricky global environment these days, I feel, with uh, major central banks around the world starting to diverge in their policy paths. Uh, here at home, here in China, the country is undergoing a massive rebalancing program. What does China need to do to maintain stable growth in the second half of this year, amid all of this uncertainty, you think? Well, I, I think China need to uh, to back a little bit uh, ease the monetary market and uh, more flexible to force the uh, domestic uh, the business and um, uh, and uh, create more favorable conditions for the small and medium uh, size business. And since the, the government realized that it's important to have this uh, the neutral the environment for for the for the business and uh, and then. Since well, well, when facing the, the global, you know, development and uh, the, well, quite divergence, and uh, so that's uh, for the domestic, uh, the the top, the monetary market. Uh, sh I think it should be a little bit uh, east, and uh, there is a reform for the uh, interest rate. Uh, I think it, we need to continue to that so to 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 match the um, the, div the well the the, the development of the, the global environment. All right, so Mr. Zhao, we just heard from Lily that more than half of Chinese provinces are trailing their growth targets so far this year. I feel it's another sign that reliance on fixed asset investments is really not a sustainable way to go. Uh, for the provincial and more local governments, where should they focus their capital more on if they start to wean away from fixed asset investments? We just heard from our uh, top story that there needs to be more efficient capital allocation here in China. It's one of the top priorities for the country's uh, decision-making body. Well, for the local governments, uh, the, it, it will be different with the, the past. That's uh, they focus on the uh, infrastructure and the, and also real estate, and that is about more money in the like the upgrade the local economy, like uh, info, not not the infrastructure, but the infrastructure, and also uh, have some money, money to the uh, low income com uh, the families and give them more, uh, you know, the disposable income, and that give them the confidence, and also some uh, public uh, f uh, facilities uh, that. Uh, that will be uh, will upgrade uh, the local economy. So that that's the and uh, promote the consumption. That uh, we will change the, uh, the the structure of the investment and uh, consumption. That we uh, gradually that's there will be uh, the structure change. All right. Many thanks for those insights, Mr. Zhao. Stay with us.